that farm that I work for. It's all organic dairy cows. Yeah, they go to the slaughterhouse too. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They do not. They've lived a long life. They've lived a happy life. A happy life it's having like... their calf stolen? Well, I don't believe you. You don't? Nah, I think you're lying. So you support a dairy farm that kills baby animals or yeah. like really young animals. But you are... And you can wonder why vegans have a problem with it. So it's okay if you're in the cow's position and you're about to be decapitated. It's, it's okay if you're going to be eaten. That's fine. Yeah. So wait a second, but wait a second. Like, I'm it's getting confused. Please help me understand. The farmers need money to survive. Like, they need to be able to live. They need to be able to pay for their houses. They need to oh, be able man. to... So does everyone. Cry yeah, me so a river. Like one thing I do respect is how vegans are very aggressive towards meat eaters or Was our being aggressive? community. Yeah, telling In us what way? that we're wrong. Telling we you that, that you're wrong is aggressive? What's more aggressive? Us having this conversation right now, me saying I don't agree with you, I don't believe you. Or do you think uh, decapitating veal calves for cheese is more aggressive? <laughs> Hello. So why are you vegan instead of vegetarian? So basically, for the same reason we boycott the meat industry, we also boycott eggs and dairy because they exploit, cause suffering to, and kill all the animals in the egg and dairy industries. Not all egg and dairy industries. For example, uh, free range hens. A lot of my friends um, own farms and they have free range hens where they can walk wherever they want. They've got loads of space to walk around and they're not kept in coops all the time. They lay their eggs out fields and stuff. So it's very ethical for the chickens. So you're talking about someone who just has a couple... That's not an industry. No, she has like a thousand chickens and they produce loads and loads of eggs. Oh, no, that's so not good. This is that's like, not good. Or, for example, the farm that I work for, it's all organic dairy cows. Yeah, they go to the slaughterhouse too. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They do not. I've grown up on this farm. So I wait know. a second. What do they do with the calves? They let the calves grow into And where animals. do they go? They so they um they keep all the females and they sell the males to whoever. slaughterhouse. No, not slaughterhouses. So whoever Where do they where do they, they, where they where sell do they them go? to other farmers it's for their like wherever they want and to And where do they the go then? That's not that's not like our they, thing. they go to the slaughterhouse. Okay, but that's not the point of um, slaughter is inherent part of dairy. Yeah, but that's just going to happen, isn't it? No, but I'm, I'm saying, saying it's not justified and it's you, not vegan because of it. If you want to find like dairy that's now, the organic. thousand hens that your friend has, what is she going to do with them all? When, no, they, when, when they stop producing eggs? When they stop producing eggs, they just keep them until they die. A thousand hens, and, and then so her well, business goes out of business. So she goes out of business. They don't all they don't all stop producing at the same time. No, I know, I know, but so I'm be, saying, does like she steady. replace them? She'll get new ones in. If and then she'll keep the other thousand, and she'll have two thousand, and she'll have three thousand. Yeah, but as in, you're not going to have a thousand that aren't well, they producing live for at eight the same years. time. Yeah, but they're not all going to stop producing eggs at the same time. They're production. And they're not all going to die at the same time. Okay, so so you you know for a fact that she doesn't send them off. Well, I don't know for a fact, but she doesn't she doesn't okay. produce chicken meat, so she doesn't send them off to be slaughtered. Bless you. She doesn't have to produce the chicken meat, but she can send them to a slaughterhouse to be to be replaced. Yeah, but they're they're not. If she's got a business, an egg laying business, well, look, look, maybe she doesn't. But I'm saying you maybe don't, she doesn't. You don't have to buy from a big okay. like industry companies. But do you? No. You're I, vegan. No, I'm not a vegan. So you so can do you buy eat from meat? smaller businesses. Yeah, I eat meat. Ah, then why are we having a debate about some exotic scenario for eggs and dairy when you eat animals? Because I can understand being vegetarian if that's your personal choice. But me personally, I believe that animals, a lot of them are bred to be killed. Like, they, they don't, they're not bred to, like, Does that make it okay life. if they're bred to be killed? If an animal is bred and it has a good, like, life, like, it's allowed to roam wherever and it's, like, lives a long, good life, and then it's killed, then I think that's fine. It's lived in long enough time. How long? Well, it depends how long. How long are the animals for. living where you, where you get your meat from? From my meat, I get from my dairy farm, where. Um, so that's the only place you eat. So outside of your dairy farm, you're vegan. Your yeah, pretty there. much. She a vegan outside of her dairy farm where she works? Yeah, not. Yeah, not. <laughs> so you never <laughs> she, eat, you never eat meat outside or or dairy or anything outside no, of your your, your just situation. From, yeah. Okay. But, so when, when's your last time you ate a vegan meal? Um. Today. Where from? Yeah, Okay, cool. But I'm saying. Are you a vegan? Okay. I'm saying, like, with the, so the dairy farm, the female cows, when they stop producing milk, so after eight, nine years, they'll stop producing milk. And then that's when the cows are sent off to a slaughterhouse, and they've lived a long life, they've had kids. So I thought you said your dairy farm don't go to a slaughterhouse. No, that's chickens. All organic dairy cows. Yeah, they go to the slaughterhouse too. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They do not. That's a different farm. No, no, no. I asked I'm you saying... about the dairy farm, and you said they keep the females. And then you yeah, said, until, and then you said that the start. males go to, to a farm and don't get slaughtered. And I said they're getting slaughtered. But now you're saying after nine years, they're going to uh, dairy well, farm. I didn't say the males get to farm and don't get slaughtered. I said they get they get sold to different farms where it's not really. Yeah, but then you, but you also told farms. me that the mothers are kept. And yeah. now you're saying they're actually being kept 
till nine years and being slaughtered. Well, until they stop producing so, milk so, and then they've lived a long life. So why would I be okay got, with that? They've lived a long life. They've lived a happy life. A happy life it's having like, their calf stolen. Well, you could say humans. If you get euthanized, you've lived like a long life and you don't well, want to be alive What's the life anymore. They've only lived like less than half their lifespan and then they're murdered. Yeah, but that's How long's just... the lifespan of a cow? Probably about 15 years, yeah. Yeah, uh, 20, 25? 25 years. Really? Well, you can just Google it up on your phone right now if you like, but yeah, it's 25. Yeah, I want to go ahead. 20, 25. Did Some you know live till 30, 35. Cows can produce milk for how many years? It just depends on the cow, really. Some are slaughtered really young because they don't actually come into calf. So, like, on average, I think it's 6.7 years. Yeah. Um, but some can be high on the higher end, some can be on the lower end. Farmers will kill them for small reasons, just they're not calving properly, so they don't want them, and they'll just send them to be slaughtered. Your claim to me here is that you are completely vegan outside of this dairy farm that you work at. I don't believe you. Yeah, well, I don't... Eat. I don't believe you. You don't? Nah, I think you're lying. I still don't agree with this dairy farm or this egg farm, but so you, I, I think you that you're making it up. Yeah. You don't agree with like organic or No, nah, like... I'm just saying that you're making up that you eat plant-based outside of these two situations, even though I don't agree with those two situations. You've got to think though, if people didn't have... Is that true? Am I, am I, am I right? No, I do eat plant-based yeah. outside of these. Yeah, so you're completely plant-based outside of those yeah. two situations. Yes. Okay. You've got to think that like people without eating meat and everything, a lot, like millions of people lose their jobs. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like people go bankrupt and everything, they'll oh, struggle. Do you think it's bad to slaughter cows? No, it depends. It's not bad. It would depend. Yeah, so why are you trying to justify situation. it? Why would you care? Why wouldn't you just eat meat out of here if it's not bad to slaughter cows? I do. I think it depends how the cows killed. Just say like a bolt gun in the head and knife across the throat. Is that okay? That's it's good. Knife. It's always if, a gun. Yeah. If well, I know what it is. I said a bolt gun in the head and a knife across the throat. How do they get their head off? Oh, I don't know. Then use a knife. Oh, I'm saying as in like, if you know where your meat is coming from, you know like yeah, slaughterhouse. How, it, how it's killed, then it's. I think uh, it's okay to eat if you agree with that. But and if do you, I'm just asking if you agree with animals being decapitated so you can eat them. Yeah, I don't mind that. Farming, Would it be okay if you were in their position? Yeah, Look, farming provides a lot of So jobs. it's okay if you're in the cow's position and you're about to be decapitated. Bred, it's okay if you're going to be eaten, that's fine. Yeah, okay. if you've been bred for it. Yeah, I so if, I, if you're bred, like right now you found out actually you're actually bred to be eaten, we just take you to the slaughterhouse, that's cool? Yeah. Okay. But wow. I think, and you, and you, would you you wouldn't mind if you were actually found out recently that you'd been bred to be slaughtered and you're going to go to the slaughterhouse? That'd be cool. If I was in the wild and like I'm in the wild, you know, and I'm I'm left oh. alone, you know. But if I'm in a slaughterhouse and I was brought up to do that, then sure, it's it's, fine. it's great. Yeah. Okay, it's cool. You wouldn't actually mind being an animal in a slaughterhouse yourself, so no. you, you you don't feel like you're a hypocrite. So murder's actually fine then, with, in your eyes. That's well, that's different. the difference though, because murder is committed often with like a an objective, like in the sort of with, in a hatred way. Like, if I murdered right. someone... You can murder someone with a smile on your face if you want. Yeah, but that's kind of... It's still murder. Murder is... Sinister... Murder is just taking someone's life it. against their will. Stealing yeah, someone's it's... life against their will. I don't kill a cow thinking, like, I hate cows, like, this cow's done me wrong. I, I could would... just kill you and say, I want to eat you. That's still murder. I mean, that's your choice if you want to do that. But, like, you don't kill cows thinking, but I'm advocating. Oh, I want I'm to advocating... kill this cow because I hate this cow. You, you kill a cow think... thinking, I need meat, I need to eat meat. You don't or... need to eat. Do you need to eat meat? Yeah, me personally, I feel like I need to eat meat to yeah, keep you my feel like? Healthy. I mean, so do you objectively need to eat meat? I, th I think I need to eat meat, yes. And based on what belief? Because when I'm a growing person, I think meat is a very important part of your diet. Okay. You can, I mean, there's obviously off, off, like other options for not eating meat, but okay. I believe so that... so why wouldn't you choose those options? Because eating meat is the best way of getting protein and lots of other nutri nu like nutrition in your diet. It's the best way? Yeah, I and think what, it's what the other way. nutrition? What do you mean, lots of other nutrition? So, like, such if the animal is grass fed, you're going to get a lot of like the uh, you get vitamins in your meat as well. Yeah, I have. mean, those vitamins come from grass. I mean, why can't you get vitamins and minerals from plant foods? Well, you can, but so what specific sorry. nutrient in meat that or vitamin in meat that you you said protein? Yeah, protein. So you can't get uh, adequate protein from plants. Well, and they can't get adequate. You can get some, but I think the best, fastest way to get it is from meat. I personally, I'm anemic, so I have to take iron tablets and everything. If I don't, I will pass out. So when I'm eating, I'm I'm not vegetarian. I'm not vegan, you know. I'm a, I like eating meat sometimes. But but and like I have thought about becoming vegetarian. Like I'm nothing against people that do that. You know, they have their own beliefs and everything. Well, your friend here's a vegan. Yeah, I know, and I understand that. So if you need meat from for growth so much, why are you vegan outside of this situation, this egg and dairy situation? Because because I eat from there a lot. So I say about four out of seven of my like weekly like dinners lunches like every day will be for, with meat 
So how are they how are they giving you all this meat if they only slaughter their cows once every nine years? Because and there's not a slaughterhouse at this farm. Because not everybody's buying from this farm. Now one second. How are you getting enough meat to sustain yourself four times a week from a farm that slaughters their cows once every nine years until so nine years? You kill more than one cow every nine years. And, and and these dairy cows, right? They go to the slaughterhouse and become meat in their butchers. Is that what happens? They're not butchers, no. So wait a second. But wait a second. Not like, I'm getting confused. Please help me understand. This farm shop, this dairy, organic dairy farm shop yeah. that you only eat from, ever, yeah. sells meat somehow. Where does this meat come from? Well, because it's not their, like, store, it's not their, but, like, butcher shop. They don't, it's not, like, solely just meat. So they will be sent away and then some of it will be sent back. Who will be sent away? The cows. So it only sells dairy cows from their own farm, yes. farm in this shop? Yes. What's the name of it? Um, I don't feel comfortable to tell you the name of them because that's well, it's a business. workplace. Okay, yeah, you don't have to tell so me. It. I don't believe you. That is sounds like I, I, I know a lot about. I know a lot about smallholders. I know a lot about. Uh, you know, I know a lot about small farm shops and that. I think you're making stories up, personally. I don't well, think the situation to be exists. Honest, you're being quite aggressive, but no. no it's, I'm not being aggressive. I just not, think you're making stories up. It's, I mean, it's okay to. Like, I just don't think that this place exists, and I think maybe it's just a farm shop that sells all different animals it's, that are being slaughtered. No, I tell you, it does. It does not sell. Does it sell bacon? No. Just, it's, just it's, cows. Just cows. Just beef. It's a production. So, so they they have these cows that have been bred for hunting. They've been treated really well, and then they go in to get slaughtered. Yeah, sure, get killed. Right, and they get sent to the butcher, and then come back to the farm market, right, where they sell like the the dairy, the cheese, and everything, right. And so the cows, some of the some of the production, they they come back, and you know you get the little packets of ham or you know ham like is steak a pig. or something. The, you're not seen thing. <laughs> Anyways, so there's this imaginary fa dairy farm shop that I don't believe exists or it's, it operates a little differently to what you're saying. Um, that's all. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. It just doesn't exist in the way that you're saying it does. Okay. It, I mean, yeah. Wait, but anyways, I still think that's wrong. Yes, it's still wrong to decapitate those cows even after nine years. For a sandwich, I think it's unjustified. Do you think it's completely fine and you wouldn't mind being in the cow's position? No, that's I, what think, you're saying? I think it's completely justified. It's fine. If the cows lived a good, like, long life, happy life, yeah. like, it's had... Like all the space to do whatever it was. You mean, to do. you know, half of their natural lifespan and having their calves taken and sent away. Well, no, this is what happens at the dairy farm that you're from. No, calves aren't taken away. You said they're taken to a separate farm. No. They keep all the females and they sell the males to other farmers. If it's males, they'll keep them until they're uh, like eight months and they do rose veal. They kill yeah. them for veal. So, eight months. Does that's, that sound like living a nice, long, natural life and then but getting that's killed? That's different, though, isn't it? Because if oh, you, no, no. if there's no purpose for the males on the farm, it's, you're going to lose money. Exactly. Farms I'm not talking. I'm money. talking about ethics here. We're talking about ethics, right? So you support a dairy farm that kills baby animals or yeah. like really young animals. But you are and you, and you, you wonder why we, we could, why vegans have a problem with it. They could do white veal. They could do white veal, which is way less ethical. Well, of course, they could boil the animals alive, which is even worse. But I'm saying they that just because ethical, there's worse. I'm saying that. The farmers need money to survive. Like they need to be able to live. They need to be able to pay for their houses. They need to oh, be able man. to. So does everyone. Yeah, Cry so me a river. Does everybody else, but farming, so does everyone farming, here. Farming, but they like, manage to do it without farming decapitating. Farming provides a lot of jobs in the country. Farming provides so many jobs. So does plant farming, but I still don't think it justifies decapitations. I think it does. I mean, honestly, people yeah. need to be able to live. People need to be able to pay their bills. You and think it's justified provides... for you to be killed for a burger? I mean, no yeah. one thinks so. Well, that's because I think it's, you should be. Not, I don't think that. I think you should be protected. Not the norm. If it was normal for people to yeah, kill other people, yeah, but you believe it's fine to decapitate you and take you to a slaughter. A cow, but it's illegal to kill a child or a teenager. Yeah, right and I'm saying you're saying it doesn't matter because it's fine if you're raised for food to be killed. It's you two. What do you eat then? Plant foods. Plant foods. What sort yeah. of plant foods? Well, oh my god, every and single all a myriad of plant foods. And is your plant food like organically sourced? No. No. I don't think, so I think it it's a scam. Organic's a scam. Pesticides and everything on it. So, so it can have pesticides on it. It could be so? in farmland that Why are pesticides? Down... What's the matter with pesticides? Do we need them. They kills bugs. They stunt your health. They, they, they affect mental health and everything. Evidence? Do you have any evidence and for that? Pesticides, kills, pesticides nah. kills things like bugs. If, uh, they have bees. to because if we yeah, don't but protect then our... Then that's killing animals, no? So? So you're saying you're in okay with killing bugs and bees in the, even no, though that's killing animals? No, in the context of protecting crops... 100% we have to. But crops don't have living feelings, so why are you no, saying no, no, listen. that you can protect crops and because you can't protect, protect things like bees, need... which are really important to keep your crops alive? Well, no, no, no. Okay with killing insects, yet that's a well, in that context, yeah. So, well, okay, we have so that's to. kind of, you don't have to. Yes, you we can, do. You can um, no, we have produce to. plants without using No, you can't. Well, not on a large scale, but if you... No, exactly, so we starve. That's, a, that's called justification. 
That's called justification. You can, you personally, you can try and find farms or plant farms that they don't, don't exist. use pesticides. Organic use pesticide. You can, you're sure you can find some. Organic. You, can grow your own you ask me if I support organic. They use pesticide too. It's organic pesticide. You can grow your own plants. We need pesticide to protect our food resources, or we all starve. That does not give us a justification to shoot cows and eat them for no reason, no justifiable reason. No just. But there's no, a difference I, between. I think there is justifiable. Do you think there's a difference between protecting uh, food resources, yeah. protecting, and decapitating a cow to eat them? Do you think there's a moral difference? Can I just not really. Say okay. It's so the same thing. Saying that you've stabbed people and everything. You know, we're mammals, so technically you're killing animals. You've stabbed another human being. I never stabbed anyone to death and ate them. You stabbed right? them though. Yeah, to, like to defend myself, to defend crazy. myself in the leg, 100%. Stab uh, stabbed people in self-defense. I've been a victim of gang violence and suffered from addiction for 12 years. But uh, I don't believe it's right to stab people now, no. And I don't think it's right to stab people, innocent people then either. But this was a gang world, it's different. So no, yeah, I think killing people is wrong. I think stabbing people is wrong. I think killing animals in the context of animal agriculture is definitely wrong. But it's completely I think fine. crop protection is fine. It's, we need to. So wait, what context do you think that killing animals is okay then? Because you said self -defense. animal agriculture. Self-defense. So Self-defense. So yeah. Killing an animal and... If a dog started attacking you, I'd shoot him in the head. You'd shoot, shoot Yeah, self-defense. Self-defense. Uh, no, if, you, if I had to. There's another argument for yeah, this like, though. Yeah, like, if I had to kill the dog to save a human or you kill a lion to save a human, I'm going to do it, you yeah. You could say though that that's their natural, like, instinct. Like, if you, if you ever got in a situation where there was a lion, are going to kill you, then surely maybe that's your fault that you're in no, the lion's let, let's space. Just say there was a lion running loose. Let's just say there was a lion ru running loose right now. Do you think, think I should shoot the lion to protect a kid from being eaten? Because I mean, it's a natural it's instinct? Not gonna work. You're gonna have to I don't, think, I don't think it's yeah. going to... Do you don't think it's really justified to kill the lion, but you think it's justified to decapitate both animals and humans no, for a burger? Be, I totally think it'd be justified to kill a lion if it was going to kill someone, but I'm saying... Okay, so then what's the problem? You don't see the problem in killing another animal for self-defense. An innocent animal? No. Yeah, but you're saying... The lion's not innocent if they lions. tried to kill our child or kill well, that's you. that's their natural instinct, no? I don't care what's natural. So, then it's not... If that's I don't not care what's thought, natural. Then why is it justifiable to kill them? It's for self-defence. I just said that. No. I'd kill a human in self-defence if I had to. If they were going to kill my family, I'd kill them. It's, okay. it's self-defence. It's different to, like, what you're talking about. Innocent cows taking their calves and killing their calves at eight months old for cheese, a taste that you don't need. You don't kill a calf for cheese. Yes, you do. No, you don't. What, what point of no. making cheese? Do Eight you months later, the calves that come from dairy cows will be slaughtered. What do you need to kill a calf for to make cheese? Well, the calves come from dairy cows. They have yes. to impregnate those dairy cows in order for them to produce milk. Yes. They have to. Yes. Or do you think you can be produce milk no, without no, being pregnant? No, you do have to, yeah. Okay, so they impregnate the, the dairy cows with a calf. Yep. In order for the dairy cow to produce the milk to make the cheese. Okay, so we're starting, like, all the way back. Okay, I see. Yeah, well, of okay. course, it's the dairy industry. So, so in order to produce milk, to make cheese, you have to have birth to calf. Yeah. As a result of birthing that calf, that calf will be slaughtered. Can I also just so, this, one second, one second. So, making cheese murders calves. Sure. Okay. Cool. But nowadays, you can pretty much choose the gender that you're going to want your calf to yeah. be. You sexing. Can, I know sex yeah, demons. You can yeah, do that. And, and it's not always accurate. It's not always accurate, no. But that's what I'm saying. A lot of farms will choose to have female calves so that they, can, they don't have to, like, yeah, no. Slaughter male calves as often. But obviously, if one comes, if a male calf is born, male calf spawn. And they get slaughtered for cheese. Yeah, and you can't do it. And all that, those females will get slaughtered too. After they've yeah. had a long life. That's the difference, though. If they have a long yeah. life, then. No, a they long, can be murdered at. Life. Depend, well, maybe at your dairy farm that you only eat from, maybe they get killed at nine years old, which I don't even believe you exists in the way that you say it does. But in the dairy industry generally, they can slaughter them at two, three years old. They can slaughter them for any, they slaughter them at all, a variety of different ages. Yeah. 6.7 years they get slaughtered, eh? On average, it's three and a half carvings. Well, uh, my opinion on vegans, okay. like, there's nothing absolutely wrong with being a vegan. Like, I completely support your lifestyle. Like, do whatever, like, do what you want. Like, I'm nothing against it. Do what we want? Yeah, like, like, I respect that. But, but one thing I don't respect is how vegans are very aggressive towards meat eaters or, you know, like, like, for as long as vegetarians, you know, was that being aggressive? Community. Yeah, telling in us what way? that we're wrong. Telling you that rights. you're wrong is aggressive? Well, no, but it's just what like... What if you are wrong? In Britain, you've got the rights, right? So you can do whatever, well, not technically whatever you want, but what do you is think you legal. Should have, do you think humans should have rights? Yeah, we do. Should animals have rights? They, they do. Then they don't. In the wild, they do. But if they're brought up from birth to be produced as a They meat, don't have a right to their, even their own lives, these animals. They don't even have a right, don't right to their own bodies. They don't have a right to anything. You have a right to eat them, which is wrong. 
But you're saying I'm aggressive because I'm saying that you're wrong. No, I'm not saying you're aggressive, I'm just saying the community... What's, what's more aggressive? What's more aggressive? Us having this conversation right now, me saying I don't agree with you, I don't believe you, I think that's no, no, wrong. This is a what, what's more aggressive? Uh, or do you think uh, decapitating veal cast for cheese is more aggressive? <laughs> um, that seems more aggressive to me, just for a slice of cheese. Anyways. A slice of veal, I mean, it's for, for a lot of Oh, yeah, oh, so, so a little few more slices and it's okay. Yeah. yeah All right, bless I, you. I just mean that, like, a lot of people... I mean, like rely on me, like like me or like some of my family, you know, like yeah. from uh, you uh, don't I'm, need I'm it. mixed race, right? You don't need I'm you don't need race, me. So I, I lack an iron anyway, and so if I don't have iron, and as much you don't as have I to take, stab an I animal for iron. iron. Like capsules well, then anyway, there you go. But it's not enough, so I've got to eat meat, which and um, beef is one of the best substances for me to have okay. iron. Well, I'm not your and doctor, I and I don't think you need to stab animals in the throat to get iron, because you can get it from plant foods and you can supplement it, and that's fine. But I do, and I you can also have iron infusions. Yeah. It's easier to stab an animal to death. It's not easy for the animal. Yeah, but it's easier access. I mean, if that was me, I wouldn't want you to get the iron out of my blood. If you have, like, a slab of steak, for example, nice juicy steak, and you eat that, you're going to have a lot of... It's flesh. Of, of Murdered animal flesh. It's not but juicy, it, it's blood. Well, it tastes good, and, and second of all, it's, gonna, yeah. it's, it's much better for me, because I've got iron in my system, which will keep me from passing yeah. out. And you think that's just having a, a, a poor little cow is justified to stab well, them to death? It's better to kill a cow than for me to lose my life and not have. You're not going to die though. No, but it can cause a seizure. It's, it's no, look, I'm not your doctor. Can, I'm not your doctor. Cause... I'm not your doctor. I just know you can get iron from other places, and we don't have to kill animals to get iron. Yeah, that's but it's all. It's easier access to eat meat than to just eat like a ton of spinach. You're already taking iron supplement. I just don't understand. I don't understand why you kill an animal to get that when they don't want to die. It tastes good. Nice, it tastes good. Yeah. It tastes really good. It tastes, it tastes really good. Yeah, it was okay, a nice I mean, here we go. Really okay. nice See you later. So, so young girls with no empathy at all.